Well, it was a unique experience dealing with combat and having to record that. My name is Stuart McKenzie. I live in Sacramento, California. I've been in photography my whole life. I started in photography high school as a high school newspaper photographer, college newspaper photographer. I did volunteer, interesting story. I was in college having too much fun, getting A's and F's, and the draft at that time was very active. I was on a trip to, in Boise, Idaho, going to Sun Valley to ski. My mother called me up and said, oh no, you got your draft notice. So I knew all I had to do was go down to the Navy recruiter in Boise, which I did. Walked into the recruiter's office. The Navy recruiter was at lunch. The Marine Corps recruiter was sitting at that desk. And he said to me, I can give you the same schools, the same term, everything that the Navy said that they can do, I can do. And most importantly, I can get the draft off your back by signing you up now and you've got 60 days to get your affairs in order. I joined the Marine Corps. Little did I know what I was getting myself into. I was big into risk sports and I thought to myself, what bigger risk sport is there than combat? You know, how are you gonna hold up in a combat scenario? So I volunteered for Vietnam. We landed in Vietnam, got off the aircraft, and it was hot and humid. Day to day would be everything. If we weren't flying, we were processing a film. There were five photographers there, and we had some correspondence and a motion guy. It was before video, so we had to, they shot film, 16 millimeter film. I was on three major operations, Mead River, Oklahoma Hills, and Dewey Canyon. All those operations, I had instructions from my lieutenant as far as what he wanted on those particular operations. Sometimes it might be get on the ground and just get pictures of troops exiting the aircraft. It might be just grab shots like that M60 squad setting up, um, Marines hiking in a line, um, helicopters coming in and resupplying, netting, you know, dropping nets, lots of things. Fortunately, before I went in the Marine Corps, I was uh, on the ski patrol, National Ski Patrol, and I had advanced first aid, I had CPR. Um, I ended up working for an ambulance company. I'd seen car wrecks and catastrophic injuries. Nothing prepares you for Vietnam, but it prepared me to suppress the kind of injuries that I saw in Vietnam. You can't deal with it. I mean, you'd be sitting somewhere sobbing. If you dealt with it, you have to suppress everything. So you just suppress and take the pictures. And here's an unbelievable photographic scenario, you know, unfolding before you and you just take pictures. Especially medevacs where you're dealing with major trauma, uh, traumatic amputation of limbs. They'd bring someone on board with no legs, um, you know, arms, massive tissue injuries, and watching corpsmen trying to save, you know, someone's life on an ongoing basis. The camera kind of gave me a little bit of distance in that I wasn't just standing there staring at it. I had something in front of me to shield me from the horror that I was witnessing. People always ask, you know, well, what about your legacy? What, uh, you know, what's, what's your, what are people going to remember about you? It's not about me, it's about the Marine Corps. And I told the story, that'll be my legacy, is just the, the images that I took and the story of the Marine Corps.